12 hours. Democracy lives here. This message is paid for by the Indiana Secretary of State. Breaking news overnight, a child was killed in a house fire in Newburgh. The Warwick County coroner confirmed that information late last night. Officials tell us an investigation is underway at the home on Plum Street. Uh, it's hard to know what to expect with this thing. Um, it seems like every day the news is changing. More confirmed cases of COVID-19 are popping up in the tri-state. Health officials in Dubois County announced someone there has the coronavirus. Now other counties are also reporting their first confirmed cases as well. The Muhlenberg County Health Department confirmed on Facebook two new cases. Today in Henderson, those with a doctor's order can get tested for COVID-19 in Methodist Hospital's new drive through site. You can call the Deaconess Nurse Triage Line to get an order after some questioning. Well, good morning. It's 6 o'clock on Monday, March 23rd. I'm Shaylee Clark here with meteorologist Byron Douglas. Dan Katz has some pre-planned time off today, but Byron, we are going to stay with the social distancing. So uh, good to see you over there. Yeah, it's good to see you, Shaylee. We know Dan is uh, home hanging around this week. We do miss him. We do have some clouds out there. We're going to try to work on these a bit. Now, when we came on the air bright and early this morning, we had some sprinkles and light rain across Washington, Kentucky. That's down through Bowling Green. All the thunderstorms are down through northern Mississippi, Alabama, and then east there of Nashville. Haven't seen any severe thunderstorms. The severe thunderstorms are down through uh, north of Alabama this morning. We're at 44 at Evansville. Now, we only hit 46 yesterday, 45 in Owensboro, and a little bit cooler where they're seeing some clearing up there in Flora at 39. We'll keep checking for some late breaking fog where we're seeing clearing to the north, but generally mostly cloudy skies out there. And by 9 o'clock, up in the mid 40s, a small chance there for a sprinkle or two, but generally we'll start to work on these clouds a bit during the afternoon. And a new alert day to talk about. It arrives on Tuesday. Well, we're following breaking news overnight. We've learned a child died in a house fire in Newburgh. That happened around 9 last night on Plum Street, right off of the Ohio River Scenic Byway. Now, the Warwick County coroner confirmed to us it was a child that died. Firefighters say smoke and flames were coming from the second floor. Officials say they aren't sure how long it was burning before they got there, but it took about 20 minutes to get it under control. Officials shut down several roads while working, but they are all back open right now. No word yet on how that fire started or if anyone else in that home was hurt, but we're told an autopsy is scheduled this afternoon. Breaking news this morning as the coronavirus continues to spread. More confirmed cases are popping up right here in the tri-state. According to Muhlenberg County Health Department's Facebook page, they've confirmed two positive cases of COVID-19 in their area. Officials say they are investigating. They're asking everyone there to remain calm. Green River District Health did confirm to us yesterday there were two confirmed new cases of COVID-19 in their area, but they couldn't tell us where. It's unknown right now if these are the same cases, so we're checking in with health officials today. A little bit of nervousness. Everybody's a little bit uh, panicked, scared. Dubois County health officials also reported their first confirmed case of COVID-19 over the weekend. Officials are now asking all non-essential retail establishments to close to help prevent the spread. So that means places like liquor stores, clothing shops, tanning salons, and other in-person retail businesses. Restaurant owners like Jared Weissite of Jasper Pub and Grub says it's only a matter of time before his pub closes up shop. No, it's not about the money anymore. It's not about the customers. It's about keeping our people safe, keeping the community safe. Luckily for his restaurant, they offer curbside pickup. Officials say places like Jasper Pub and Grub, who offer curbside pickup, takeout delivery, can remain open. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir is also making similar changes in the Commonwealth. He ordered all non-essential retail businesses to close last night. We're told that does not include grocery stores, pharmacies, drug stores, or gas stations, but it does include entertainment, clothing, bookstores, and auto sales. But auto repair stores can remain open. That new order was issued after the state reported that their number of confirmed cases has surpassed 100. Neat. So this is a, another step we're having to take and another significant step. And I know a lot of people just like Restaurants, bars, and other public-facing businesses, these are your dreams. I understand that, uh, and I hope you know uh, that I feel that and, and, and get that in making this order. But it's going to take this type of sacrifice and continuing to take more steps each day or, or every other day uh, 